Hi guys, it's Chris here with the Chewy HI8. Having a look at the temperatures here, you can see that the CPU, the Atom Z3736F, got up to 71 degrees, just right here where the mouse is. So it's quite warm, but that's actually a reasonable temperature. I have seen lower, uh, but normally this chipset does run a little bit hotter, this slightly faster M Atom here than the more common Z3735F which clocks up to 1.8. This one goes up to 2.16 gigahertz. I'll just show you a couple of benchmarks here that I have run. Uh, PC Mark, I haven't actually done that one just yet, but that will be up on the review when I do post that on techtablets.com. So I've benchmarked the internal storage and unfortunately it's quite slow. Look at that. I mean, those read speeds are what, some of the lowest I've seen. I have seen speeds like this before on a Pipo mini PC and it made the actual mini PC very slow and laggy and it didn't really like it. It was, it was just bogged down by the drive, but I'm not actually getting that experience from this uh, HI8 here. Although the drive speeds are quite slow and so the random 4K reads and writes there, I haven't actually really noticed that within the operating system, going around using things and in, in Android as well, I just haven't really noticed any lag. Everything seems to open up quickly and doesn't seem to be too much of an issue, but if you do transfer media files, you're going to notice those speeds there. They're, they're pretty low. So if I show you here my score I got in 3D Mark. I've this loads up quickly. It can sometimes be a little bit of a, a little bit laggy kind of application. No, it's just going to exit on me. So it's not going to let me show you the scores, I don't think. It's going to crash. I have to come back to that. It's just going to crash again, I think. 3D Mark, the application in the Windows Store is very buggy. No. Okay, so I'm going to have to just add that to the end of the video probably once I get that working. So I'll show you the device manager. And you'll see that uh, there's a little bit of a uh, interesting surprise here, well at least for me, that I didn't realize that this particular tablet came with uh, GLONASS and GPS chipset in it. But it does, I'll just show you here in the device manager. So we have um, Broadcom Wireless, which is just right under here. So we have Broadcom Wireless N adapter. Normally it's uh, a Realtek adapter, but here we've, they've decided to use Broadcom. Maybe they've got a cheaper, better deal there. And under sensors, I noticed all of this. Look, we have the, obviously the light sensor, orientation sensor, and then there's this, the Broadcom GLONASS geolocation sensor. And I did notice the drivers in that. I took a uh, driver dump with uh, double driver and I've backed that up. That'll be uploaded to the website so shortly. So if anyone's after drivers But it's an interesting little find there that uh, does have GPS I'll test that out in Android to see if it's actually going to work within those GPS Location apps like maps or GPS status. I will check that out and see if that works And I'll see if I can try and run that 3d mark It's gonna let me do that, but um Probably not, I'm probably going to have to reboot the whole machine here. So battery life is, um, you're looking probably about four and a half to five hours. You can see the stats down here. So I've been running it for almost two and a half hours now. And apparently I have about another two hours left. So that's the kind of impact that the screen is having on the battery life here within Windows. So it is going to be a lot less than the Chewy VI8. Maybe about half an hour, 40, 40 minutes less. I will do a proper test of that. That's not kind of a realistic battery because I have been benchmarking and things like that. So that's been using the battery a little bit more. I've had the screen set to around 40% and it is a brighter screen than the other model if you've seen my other videos. So if, actually I had it on about 50% there. That just gives you a rough kind of idea. I will do some proper testing on that to find out exactly what kind of battery life I'm going to get. And screen on time in Android as well, I'll do that test. But I just need to free up some time so I can, I can do that. Now the Geekbench 3 score. Is right here, so around the kind of the same figure that I got within Android on my other videos. So I need to not a bad speed there. And normally you get around 850, 880 from that uh, CPU there. 
the Atom 3736F. You can see the details just down here. A few details on it there. And the performance scores, which aren't too bad. I mean, it's running Windows really fine. And uh, this screen, just to talk about that a little bit, I was just doing some testing here and calculated what the actual pixel density was. So it's 283. That's better than the infamous Retina iPad screen, which is 264. So it's quite a sharp display. And of course the ratio here is 16 by 10. I do like that ratio. I prefer that actually more than 16 by nine. And it's not as square, of course, as the four by three. The three by two ratio that's in the Surface 3 is also quite a nice screen, but uh, I think in an eight inch tablet, yeah, that um, 16 by 10 is quite a good ratio there. And overall, I'm really happy with the screen. I have noticed there's one little fixed pixel. It's not going to come out on the camera. It's about here. It's just a tiny little bright dot. It's only one pixel. And really, it's uh, not going to bother me too much because those pixels are so small. But there is one on there. So the screen's not flawless, but it does look really good. Now if I just uh, test out a little bit on the internet here and get jump into BBC using a wireless keyboard here, just so you don't have my hands in front of the screen all the time. So that loaded in quite quickly and performance is um, just like any other Bay Trail tablet. It's really smooth and Internet Explorer just runs great. It's so smooth and works really well there. Now see if I can load up YouTube and just a bit of a video here or something. And my internet connection is running a little bit slow at the moment. There's, um, I've got some sort of problems and I'm pretty much on rural internet. So don't be surprised that it's going to be a little bit slower than probably it would be on your own connection at home and just have really bad connection at the moment. So if we just test out uh, the carbon based life forms, someone that's not going to try and sue me on YouTube for copying their music. You can hear the speaker. The speaker is a lot better than the original Chewy VI8. So that's the, the speaker's just there on the back. Quite loud, uh, it does distort when you're running at 100% and you've got some tracks that have got a bit of bass in there, the little tiny speaker can't really handle that. So I'll see if um, 3D Mark's gonna let me actually open it. Or is it still gonna keep playing up on me here and just keep crashing? The score, I can tell you the score, it was 14,000 for the 3D Mark Unlimited, I stole my limited score. No, it's just crashing on me. <sighs> useless program. Just try now a little bit of gaming here, so I just go into Asphalt 8. I'll just close that down there because that's um, really quite loud there. So now I'll just um, hopefully you can Go back into Asphalt. No, I yeah, closed it, didn't I? Swapping down. So I'll load up Asphalt I'll just show you quickly what a bit of gaming is like. That's right, I'm 88 years old. Of course, you can control this with an Xbox 360 controller or any other controller if you wanted to. You could plug that in via the micro USB port. You can see even a high resolution there, it seems to be running all right. I'll just quickly go into a game. Let me just show you how that is. So you can see, even though the eMMC drive is quite slow, it's I'm not seeing it when I'm using the tablet, which is um, miraculous, really. I thought it would be affecting it, but it doesn't seem to. Don't know what that is, or, or perhaps there's something wrong with that score I'm getting, but uh, I'm getting the same score on the the VI8 as well, the VI8 Ultimate.
So you can see gaming is uh, running fine on that. Now I will do some proper gaming tests. This is just a Windows Store game I'm testing here. I will actually have another video up, hopefully in a couple of days or so, maybe tomorrow, uh, with some testing out some games like League of Legends and Dota 2 and Counter-Strike Source, you know, the games that people like to play, Team Fortress 2 online. I've had a few requests for people asking me to test those ones out, which I'll, I'll do shortly. Alright, so that's um, a quick little hands-on there in Windows of the Chewy HI8. I will have a full detailed review up on techtablets.com within a, a week or so. Just need a bit of time there to test out the battery lives and do some further other benchmarking and tests on there just to see how it runs. Thank you for watching the video and hopefully catch you in my next one.